What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today is April the 15th. I want to give you a quick pre-market update over some of the hot movers and everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So starting off, retail sales just came out better than anticipated. So that is giving a nice boost to the broader market, which did largely sell off on Friday due to the whole, I guess, Iran, Iraq scenario. And I think a lot of people, including myself, was anticipating that today was going to be a massive bloodbath bath attributed to that but so far it seems to be doing fairly well fear and greed index right now is still kind of represented from what happened on the weekend so currently 46 so people's appetite for risk isn't necessarily there you also do have a lot of big companies unveiling their earnings today and plus throughout the week so so far things seem to be looking fairly good. Getting right to it though, SoFi. So as you can kind of see, it is up slightly. No news, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines. So it is just relatively quiet for them. They do have their earnings in about two weeks, just shy of that. So that should hopefully cause some FOMO sooner rather than later. Probably not today necessarily, but still something to keep in mind. As far as shorts, they're not doing jack all this morning, which I guess is somewhat of a good thing, but 16.99% of the free float is being shorted so in my opinion i think that they were waiting and kind of hedging for world war three to start uh, but since that didn't really happen obviously i think shorts might be returning a little bit today and right now sofi is at seven dollars and 37 cents so right above this pivot point so i think the technicals are looking a little bit better so 737 or trading between this pivot and this r1 so next target is going to be 764 but regardless throughout the day you'll want to watch for this 736 to essentially hold tesla so tesla was down a lot more than this obviously retail sales is giving it a nice kind of recovery but interesting developments over this weekend all unconfirmed as far as i'm aware but tesla is rumored to be obviously laying off about 20 percent of its staff so 30,000 employees absolutely crazy i saw this tweet as well kind of comical somewhat so maybe tesla is wanting to lay off their workers for robots wouldn't that be something absolutely crazy shorts have been getting into tesla i'm definitely not saying tesla's a short squeeze play but shorts have been really getting in on a percentage basis short interest roughly about uh looks like january was 2.9 percent so right now it is 3.9 so on a percentage increase that is pretty significant but definitely not a squeeze play so right now with it 169 dollars and change it is trading between this pivot and this r1 so just watch for this 167 to hold for the day or throughout the day i believe it had a low today so far pre-market of 168 so it came very very close to this but regardless just watch for this pivot point to hold interestingly enough lucid has had no news no sec filings coming out this morning but in reality, a lot of money is getting into Lucid this morning. So I have no real justified kind of explanation for that unless it is attributed maybe to Tesla. So maybe the broader market is just seeing Tesla and them laying off staff as more of a crack within its foundation so maybe that's kind of a good thing for lucid so we'll just have to wait and see shorts aren't doing all that much but they have been overextended so it is all-time high short interest for lucid 31.69 percent which works out to be 280.67 million shares overall are being shorted and right now with that 251 it is trading between this s2 and this s1 and in fact it did bounce off of that very strong support of the two dollar and 42 cent or 243 range Range. so i think right now the next target to watch for is 256 so just kind of stay tuned for that and then vice versa just watch for this 248 to hold this company right here is up 14.7 percent ticker is a l l r alardi therapeutics if i'm saying that right but surprisingly there has been no news today there was a couple prospectuses that was submitted it looks like right here on actually looks like a new one today and then there was one on friday april 11th and then april 9th so a lot of amendments but regardless i think that seems to be the attributing cause for this and i think a lot of people just clearly are counting this company to be down and out 
And beside the point though, 2024 has been kind of weird because there's been a lot of random squeezes going up 100%. A lot of them have been attributed to companies doing reverse stock splits. So you can kind of see this company has done a reverse stock split, a one for 20 on April the 9th. Again, is that logical? In my opinion, no, but the market has just been doing whatever the hell it wants. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. It, this company is heavily shorted. So 37.78% of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 116.63 million or sorry, thousand shares being shorted. If you are looking at trading this with it at 239, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So just watch 222 or 223 to hold, vice versa 259. In my opinion, I don't think 259 is even going to be in the cards today, but what do I know? And final stock I want to talk on is NEO. And so when it comes down to NEO, there hasn't been any recent news, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines. I think just the broader market is looking for value plays that have been completely slaughtered and NEO fits that criteria. So for instance, on Friday, it went down 7.85%, largely because of those larger macro concerns. So it is recovering slightly. So it's just, we'll just have to wait and see. But again, similar to Lucid, a lot a big money is getting into NEO today. So I'm not really sure why. 14.17% of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 193.26 million shares overall are being shorted. If you are looking at trading it though, so it did bounce off of essentially this S3 on Friday. So again, just watch for that to hold. If not, then it is going to be continuing its crazy free fall that's been on. But vice versa, $4.26 will be that next strong target for NEO, which in my opinion, NEO has shown a lot of ability to go up very fast with limited volume. And right now, a lot of volume is getting in. So in my opinion, I do feel like this S2 could be touched today, whether it does break above that and touches this S1. I'm not really sure. I don't see it justified. So it might just touch this S2 and kind of bounce and trade within this range today. But we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And definitely make sure you guys take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares of the Mag 7. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, $35 total value. So that's a pretty good return for just throwing $100 at a new account. So take advantage of that. Link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching <music>